Hey guys, welcome back to Tabletop Celts. It's me, Jack. Today I'll be doing a solo battle report. So it's going to be um, an incursion mission. So I'll be using the open war cards. Uh, it's going to be 550 points. So just over a combat patrol. So it's in that realm of incursion. It's going to be my custom space room chapter, The Brothers of Atonement. And I'll be playing the craft world of Ulthway for Eldar. And I'll show you the army lists and then I'll show you the map layout and everything like that. The army lists and timestamps and stuff like that will be in the description below anyway, so if you want to skip ahead and see anything like that, uh, feel free to do so. Okay guys, so welcome to the Craft World's army list. So I'm running a patrol. Like I said, I'm playing as Althway, so their ability is they get a 6 up feel no pain every time they lose a wound. My leader is a spirit seer, this guy right here. So his warlord trait is the Orthway warlord trait. So at the start of the turn, I roll a dice and on a six up, I get a command point. Uh, his relic, I've gone for fire saber. So it's plus one strength, minus four, one damage. It replaces his regular power sword. Oh yes, uh, on a six, it does, if you wound on a six, it does a, a mortal wound. He knows one psychic power from the runes of battle. Uh, so the psychic powers I went for was Protect and Jinx. If they come up in the game, I'll just go through them there. For the rest of the patrol, I've got a unit of Guardian Defenders. Uh, they haven't got a weapons platform, so they just got their um, standard guns. Then I've got two elite units. So it's two units of Wraith. So I got a Wraith Blade unit with Ghost Axes and Force Shields, I believe they're called. Then I got another 5 iron Wraith Guard unit with Fancy Flamers, or whatever they are. The kick-ass ones. So welcome to the Space Marine Army list. I'm running this as a patrol. So this is my custom Space Marine chapter, the Brothers of Atonement. The two chapter tactics I've gone for is Master Artisan and Long Range Marksman. So I get to reroll one hit roll or wound roll, I think, with Master Artisan. So which is good for like a bazooka or a melter gun and stuff like that. And then long range marksman increases the range of my rapid fire and heavy weapons by four. So my bolt does a 28 now, which is useful because I got a lot of tactical marines. So this patrol is being led by my librarian, which is that guy right there. With his cool helmet with wings on. He's got the armor Indomitus and uh, what's it called? I am Resolve. So the two psychic powers are given him, Psychic Fortress and Null Zone. So that's my Warlord guys. Uh, in the rest of the patrol I've got two tactical squads. I've got a 10 man tactical marine squad here. I've got a sergeant with a, melt a combi melter and a power fist. I've got a marine with a... where is he? Yeah, there he is. He's got a melter gun. And I've got a marine with a uh, missile launcher. The rest of them just have their bolt guns. Then I've got a five-man attack squad. All of them have bolt guns except one guy who's got a missile launcher. Then I've got an elite unit, which is a six-man vanguard veteran squad. So they haven't got jump packs, and they all have chain swords. Uh, the sergeant, who's the guy in the robes, he has a plasma pistol. And one of the marines with the black helmet, he has a storm shield. <laughs> Welcome to the battlefield. I'll quickly show you what we're playing. So we got a deployment zone like this. So it's like two triangles, 12 away from each other. So I've done that with like these red markers on both sides. I've already rolled off for deployment. The Brothers of Atonement ended up over here and the Althway ended up over there. Okay, so we're playing Search and Secure. So how it works, you put down six objective markers, uh, named one through six. And then at the beginning of each turn, you roll a d6, and then you remove that number. Each player scores 150 points for each objective marker they control at the end of their turn. Yeah, so that's what we're playing today, guys. There is a twist I drew. So it's going to be Null Zone, kind of like my librarian's friggin' power. So I subtract two from Psychic Tests. Uh, you cannot re-roll any dice when making uh, Psychic Tests. So that's interesting. So basically my spirits here and my librarian are going to suffer for that. Oh, I also forgot to mention my librarian's got a force stave and a storm bolter. Completely forgot about that. So today I'll be rolling with some black dice, black and white dice. Uh, these are the wound dice. Uh, I, got, uh, I got an orange d6 to keep track of the turns. The hammer is 
That represents Space Marines. The Gene Sealer dice represents Eldar, and those numbers there represent the CP. Now the reason they're both on four and on a six is because I spent two CP for reserves. So I'll go through the layout now of each army. So for the Space Marines, I've got my Librarian up here. I've got five Space Marines with a rocket launcher here. So there's four bolters and a missile launcher. Then I tactical squatted my 10 man tactical squad. Oh, what do they call it? Sorry. Um, combat squatted, that's the word. I think it is, something like that. So there's two five mans now. So I got, a melt I got the two melters and three bolters here next to this objective. Then over here I got the rock launcher and the rest of the bolters. And then I paid two CP to put my Vanguard veterans in reserve. Because I thought it would be useful because there's objectives all over the place. So they could just come on out of the board edge and like, haha, here we are. With the Eldar, my Wraith Blades in this ruin here. Uh, I got my Spirit Seer here hiding behind the ruin next to this objective. And I got my Guardians behind that building looking to grab that objective by there. And then I spent the 2 CP to put my Flamers in reserve. Uh, yeah, so they're in reserve, like there. Now for the actual map itself, mostly ruin, uh, ruined buildings, so they're 5 inches tall. So they are obscuring, and if you're within them you get plus 1 to your save. And then in that corner there, all that is light cover, so it will be uh, minus 1 to hit. So I'll do now, I'll roll off to see who's getting first turn. So it will be Eldar, got a 3, and Space Marines, got a 5. So Space Marines will be taking the initiative. So what I did, because I didn't have anything going on in my command phase, I just jumped straight into my movement. I did get a command point. But I did spend on a reroll on, on an advance roll. I advanced these guys here. They had a two, so they moved eight, moved in there. I moved, I shoved these guys a bit forward just to get the rock launcher in like view for stuff. Then I moved my librarian down onto that objective and I advanced those guys three inches, uh, an extra three inches, so they moved nine. At the moment, I'm holding two objectives. Now, I don't roll in the first turn to see if one of the objectives go away. It's from, it's after the first turn you roll for that. Eldar's all hidden and I advanced, so there's not much I can do. Oh, I, I do have psychic power actually. In my psychic phase, I'm gonna cast Psychic Fortress from my librarian. So it basically, it goes off in a six and everyone within six has a uh, five up invulnerable. Don't know if I'll need it, but you know, see if I can get it off first. So it's minus two to cast because of the twist. So it goes off anyway, it goes off in a six. Uh, so that will be um, a nine. Ooh, can count. And uh, yeah, guys, because of the Eldar quite hidden away, there's no shooting. So that will be the end of Space Beam turn one. And they score two victory points because they hold number five over there and number one. So I've done my movement. I got a command point. Uh, so I'm up to five now with the Eldar. Didn't spend any on a advance roll. So I advanced these Wraith Guard here. They got a 6, so they moved 11 and got to there. So the Space Marines uh, still can't see them. I left my Spirit Seer where he is, because he's within 3 of the objective and he's hidden. And I moved my Guardians into that ruin but there, so they're 3 away from that uh, the objective there. Now, that's pretty much it. I'm going to cast now. I forgot that uh, my librarian, uh, my spirit seer could have denied my librarian, but it was a high number anyway, it was like 11, I suppose. But then again, it was minus two, so sorry about that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast protect from my spirit seer in to my guardians. They already get plus one because they're in the ruin, but if there's a weapon that's minus one, then the jinx, uh, the protect will give back the minus one, uh, plus one to their save, I believe. So it's plus two, then if something's minus one, they still have the plus one, is what I'm saying. I think that's how it works. So I'm going to cast Protect from my Spirit Seer behind that ruin into the Guardians there. It fails to go off anyway, because it goes off in a seven and it's minus two. So I would have gone off normally, but because it's minus two, it's just a five, so that fails to go off. I can't reroll it either, because that's part of the twist. Okay, guys, I measured my Guardians. They were up to range of the Space Marines, because they're only 12 inches with a with their guns. So they're scoring three old points all together because they hold that objective, that objective, and that objective. Mm -hmm. 
So it's before turn two actually begins. So I roll a d6 now to see which objective is leaving. Number three, which is the center one which I was going for with my tactile squad. So this one disappears. Whoop, because that objective disappeared now. Um, we're kind of adapting and moving on. So I move that tactile squad and my librarian forward. Uh, their full movement. Over here I moved two marines from the top to the bottom here so they're now three away from the objective there and I left that squad where it is so my basic plan is to take out the Eldar that's in that building there. So it's my psychic phase now my librarian is going to cast I was thinking smite but I'm gonna do the psychic fortress I think it's called that gives everyone within six a five up involved. So he's going to try to cast that. So it goes off on an eight, but because it's minus two, it's a six. So it does go off because that's what a six is what I need to cast it on. Then I'm going to try and deny that with my spirit seer who was behind that ring up there. So he needs a nine because of the minus two. Right. Uh, even. Uh, that's a bit, I'll roll it anyway. So no, he fails to deny that. So I have him within six, so I think it's just, I think these guys are out. Uh, so those two squads on my library and have a five up in Von now, which is pretty cool. Dude, that's a really good uh, psychic power. Then I'm gonna do some shooting. So I'll start off with that tactile squad over there. I'm gonna do all their weapons into those guardians because they're the only ones they can see anyway. So I'll shoot my rocket launcher. I'm gonna do the one that's D6. Is it Frack that does that? I think so, sounds about right. D6 shots. I'm also in Tattle Doctrine now. So it's rapid fire weapons that have minus one. Uh, so I have two shots. I will spare my CP. So I back down to four CP now. Ah, there you go. Worth. Uh, hitting on threes. Uh, no rerolls, but still pretty freaking good. Then it's going to be sort of strength four, isn't it? Yeah. So it's. Three is to wound, because they're only tapping three. Uh, so two fail, but we do get three through. There's no minus to these, they get plus one. And a guardian save. So they'll have a four up save, because their standard save is a five up. Ooh. So two die. Do I want to see be one of those? Not really, because they still got all the other stuff to deal with. So I lose two um, Eldar in that building, or two Guardians. I'll take these two. Yeah. Then I've got their bolts, the bolters now, just the regular guns. Now, because they have a move, they get bolter discipline. So it's going to be eight shots with them. Eight shots, threes and threes. Ooh, damn, you know, let's not looking good. And then threes. Uh, two fail there. So it is five at minus. It's minus one, but they get plus one, so it's just their standard save of a five up. I forgot that they have a six up. Feel no pain because they're all three. So I'll roll those two six up for those two guardians. Ah, uh, didn't matter. Then these are the other regular saves, so it's going to be fives. Uh, we save one and then two sixes. We get one six there, so we lose another guardian. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah. Just take one off the top. Boop. So there's, uh, there is seven guardians left in that building. I'll shoot my librarian storm bolter. So it's two shots. Uh, threes and threes. Uh, one miss, three. Uh, so wound. So it's minus one, but it'll be a five. And then a six. Nope, so we lose another Guardian. Ooh, can they survive? So they can just score the point is the thing. Thing is, because the only thing that can be seen is kind of like, ooh. Right, then I'll shoot everything else. Uh, what's the range for Melter? Okay guys, so I'm going to shoot this Tattle Squad now into the Eldar. So my melters are slightly out of range, so one guy can't shoot, so I'm going to use my sergeant's commie bolter, so it's still, uh, so it's 20, 
four so plus four for their range so it will be 28 up 28 is 14 so they are within 14 so they get double shots still so it's eight shots hitting it'll be threes and threes two misses th threes Ooh, a couple of, a lot of misses there so it's two at minus one so it's going to be a five up uh, they do get one because I got a six over there. I'll tell you what, I am going to CP this, so it'll take me down to four for the Eldar. Nope, wasn't worth. Oh, I forgot to roll. Um, at the start of the turn, uh, my Eldar have to roll to see if they get a CP. No, because it's on a six. And then this turn, no. Okay, so they don't get a CP. I've lost the Guardian, but he does have a six up. No, so I lose another one. Right, so that's the tactical many shots. Uh, I'm gonna shoot. Let's have a look. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I think I think those. Yeah, I was wondering if that building was in the way, but I think those marines can see them as well. Now they do count as being moved, so it's minus one to hit with my rocket launcher. So I'm gonna do the frack as well. That's one shot. Uh, hit it on a four, it misses. Then I've got four bolter shots. Threes. And threes. So it's two at minus one, so fives. Nada. And then sixes. New. Okay, so we lose two more Helder. Or two more Guardians, I should say. There is three left in that building. So that's all my shooting. I'm thinking, do I want to charge with my Space Marines? My attack squad? So I was just out of 12. I don't think I can, can I? No, because the Melters weren't in range. No, I can't, never mind. So I'm not going to charge. I would have, but I can't anyway. Uh, so that's the Space Marine turn two. They scoring another two victory points because they hold that one and that one over there. So we're back now. Just sec for Eldar turn two. Oh, I gotta do morale, sorry. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna spend the two CP so those guardians don't run. So I spent one for a reroll, but take me down to four. So I'll be on two CP now with my Eldar. Three in their turn in just a sec. Okay guys, so I've done my movement. I got a command point. So I'm, back, I'm on three now instead of two. So I move my Wraith guards, Wraith blades, slightly into the ruin. So I'm a seven inch charge away from those tactical marines, but there. But I'm still holding the objective just in case I fail the charge. I moved through the three guardians out to that ruin, so I'm in range now with their guns. And I did bring on my reserves because it's getting a bit spicy up in here, losing some guardians and stuff. So my uh, guys are there with their um, flamers. And I left the spirit seer where he is because he's holding the objective. So that's my movement. Psychic phase, I'm going to try and cast protection on my wraith guard up there does go off on a nine that goes off because it's minus two uh, my librarian is going to try and deny it so that's a five so he, no he rolled the exact same so no he doesn't so they now get plus one to their save which is cool shooting wise i just got those three gun uh three guys there they're going to go into that attack marine squad so it's going to be six shots because they're assault two uh, threes and fours. Ew, right. Thing is, if I get um, a six on the wound roll, it's a minus three. So I'll do it. Panther, you know? Uh, yep, so that's four hits. Hoping for that six now. You know, to pay off. So they're on two CP. Ah, oh, ah, uh, see? Look at that. Uh, so it's. Two regular saves, so it'll be a three up for a space marine. Lol. And then it's minus three, so it's a six up. Ah, uh, we do a wound to one. Kind of wasn't worth the CP. I just remembered space marines have two wounds. Ooh, dumbass. <laughs> right. So I'll put on the wound on that back guy there. So that's the shooting phase. Then I'll do some charging. So I'm going to try and charge those wraith blades into that tackle squad. That little squad can't overwatch because they're obscured because of the ruin. Uh, because they literally can't see them. So let's have a look. I need a seven, I think it was. 
and a seven is what I got. So we'll have you. Okay, guys. So uh, I made the charge. I just got my dice ready. Now I know it was kind of stupid, kind of leaving that objective behind. Hmm. But I had to deal with the space screens, otherwise they would just keep pushing up. So that's how I'm looking at it. You know, I charge them in, start killing them, get on them on their side of the board, and start pushing up again the objectives. Hopefully I'll roll a six and it won't matter, you know? So um there's 15 attacks from the guard uh the Wraith Guard. So 15. It's minus one to hit because of the axes, so it's gonna be fours and then strength seven, so threes. Fours and threes. Ooh, it's actually alright. Yeah, that's alright. I was looking at all those ones and I was like, damn. But no, I think that's fair. Uh, then threes. Ooh, how many is these? How many? So it's that many. Six. I'll CP one because I've wounded. Oh, I suck. Right, okay. Down to one CP. So these are minus three now. And they are D3 damage. So, uh, minus three. Uh, my space screens will still have their five up in Vaughn. Did I count that with that one wound? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. Uh, I forgot they had the in Vaughn, guys. Sorry, and I did, I'm pretty sure I rolled a five. Um, so they are four wounds. Sorry if I've cheated there, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. They have a five up in Vaughn because of the, because of the, um, the ability I cast on my uh, leader. Right. So even with that, it's not good. So it's five. Five have gone through. I got five CP. I'm going to reroll with my space ring. Damn it. So I got a three. Uh, so it's still... Uh, it's, it's five. Right. Uh, I'm on four CP. Now, it might not kill them all, because I have to roll two. So I'll do the first one. Kills one. Second one. Kills one. Uh, next one. Kills one. Next one. Uh, doesn't kill one. It puts one on a wound. Uh, and then the next one will kill him. So I lose four to five. So I just leave the sergeant. Uh, did I CP anything? Yeah, I did, because I'm a dumbass. Oh, my okay. I'm crap at spending CP, guys. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Let's do it. And then I'm realizing, oh, yeah, I could have done it for that. So that's that. And now the sergeant gets to attack with his power fist. So my sergeant's attack with his power fist is going to be fours, because it's minus one. Uh, then it's going to be threes to wound, because it's strength eight. Uh, so that's two wounds. My wraiths do have a four up in one, I believe the shields give. And they're fine because they pass them both. That was also another thing I could use the reroll uh, re for. <laughs> Lol, but it didn't matter. So they're fine. Stuck in combat with the Sarge. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'll do morale now for the Sarge. Leadership is, I think, what is it? Is it eight or seven for a space screen? I'll roll and see what happens. A four, and I lost four. That'll be eight. Uh, I'll have to check. Yes, so the Space Green Sergeant is leadership 8, so he's fine. Uh, then the Eldar score another 2 points, because I left that one. Okay hey guys, so it's the beginning of turn 3. And uh, we roll to see which objectives is freaking leaving. Number four. So it's that one up there. Damn, that sucks. I was kind of hoping for number six, so I don't look like a fool. There we go. So four's gone. So we've got one, two, uh, three, four. Ooh, spicy. Okay, guys, so I done my movement. I backed that, my sergeant out of combat. My idea is now just open fire on them, the Wraith Guard, with pretty much everything. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, oh yeah, oh sorry, I also moved my Librarian back as well, because he was just like, mm, no. So my Psychic Phase. Now, I'm thinking, what do I want to do with my Psychic Phase? Do I want to cast a Smite? Or do I want to cast a 5-up in one for everybody? 
Lol, I just read the space marine. Uh, I just read the librarian's book. Well, you can cast two spells. So I'm going to do a smite, first of all, to the Wraith God. Sorry, I messed up a few turns. So it's minus two. So that goes off on a six, seven, eight. So it does go off. I'll try to dispel that with my Spirit Seer. I failed to dispel that with my Spirit Seer. Uh, so that unit suffers D3 mortal wounds. I'm going to CP that. Two. Right. So I'm down to four command points now with my Space Marines. But I do get... How's the four? Damn it. There it is. Yeah. So I take two wounds, but I do get my six ups because I'm freaking off way. No. How many wounds do they have? <laughs> Okay, race have three wounds, so one's left on one wound. Then I'm going to try and cast the one that gives me a five up in one for everybody in six. Uh, that goes off, so it's minus two, so it's a six, and it's a six to cast, so everyone has a five up in one. Yay, librarian. Now it's some sneaky freaking shooting. So my librarian's going to shoot it to those guardians up top to stop the elder having more movability on objectives and stuff like that. So it's threes. Uh, I'm still in um, Tactical Doctrine. So it's still minus one to Rapid Fire. Uh, threes and threes. I am going to CP that. Yeah. So it's minus one now. Uh, so it's a six up as an odd in cover. And then they get a six up for being elf -like. And they get one, so one's still alive. My idea was to like, wipe them out, but obviously there's still one alive. So we just leave the Elder, the Sarge, whatever the hell it is in Elder. One Guardian left. Kind of annoying. I'll shoot this Tattler Squad. So I'll do the Bolters and the Rocket Launcher into the Wraiths. So the Rocket Launcher, I'm going to shoot a Crack. So it's the one shot one. So it hits on a three. Uh, hits. Strength eight, so it's a three. Ooh, yeah, it's a five. Bosh. Yeah, so that's a wound. Uh, it's minus two, I believe, so it's a four pin bomb. Uh, they get it. Then we've got four bolts, be eight bolter shots then. Ooh, oh yeah, I forgot about a Master Artisan as well. Ooh, I hope that hasn't added. Lol, sorry. Uh, so it's going to be threes. Artisan reroll. Didn't matter. I'm not going to do that right as well. Then it's fives and sixes. Artisan reroll. Yeah, so it's three wounds. Let me double check I'm doing that right. Sorry, it's two wounds because you can only reroll hit rolls. One hit roll, not one hit roll. I thought it was one hit roll and one room roll, but I think that's the old version. I'm not too sure. I might have just lied. I got confused. I don't know. So still two wounds, minus one. They do take one wound. So, oh, that kills one actually. Ah, six up. Ah, no. So we do lose one to bolt the fire. That's some very unfortunate. Oh, I forgot to bring my freaking reserves on. Lol, actually, do I want them? Okay, so I lost the wraith, yeah. Um, I'll bring my reserves on next turn, I think, because uh, I can go in the enemy deployment then. So that's pretty freaking cool. But I think that's the best play anyway. So we can just beat up uh, the spirits here. And then it makes them, the race guard up there, like, ooh, where do I go? Kind of thing. So, uh, yeah. Uh, then we've got the other tackle squad. With them, I'm going to do two bolters into the guardian. Everything else into the race. So I'll do the bolters. Uh, two bolters into the Guardian first, so it's four shots. Threes. This is going to be a bit overkill. Uh, threes. Uh, minus, so it'll be sixes and sixes. Uh, well, I did get one last in. Uh, but no, he's still dead. Boop. Then we've got two other bolters, so four more shots into the Wraiths. Threes. Fives and sixes. Um, it's two. Forgot about my arson reroll. Oh. Uh, 
Ah, oh, yeah. I rerolled one hit. So that was the hit I missed. Six. Yeah, it didn't matter. Uh, four. Ooh, we take a sneaky wound. The bolt of fire. Like so then I've got my rocket launcher. I'm shooting a crack. Hits. Um, wounds minus two, four up. Ooh, that's not good. I think it's d6. It's three wounds, three six up. So he needs two of these, or he's dead. It's one. No, he dead. Bye. Another rake dead. Space means and their crazy weapons. Uh, he can't shoot because he backed out. Not going to charge either. So that's Space Marine turn three. They score another two points. Okay, guys. So Eldar got a command point, but I spent it on a advanced roll for those guys. So they got they moved nine altogether, and it just got this guy within three of that objective. So they're technically holding that, and they're in the ruins, so they get cover. Uh, I pulled my race out from behind that building, holding that objective because I I was thinking about the Space Marine reserves still come in, so they're next to the Spirit Seer. So at least if they do kill the Spirit Seer or whatever, they still got some bodies on it. So I'm scoring two points now, and then hopefully uh, the next turn, then turn five, one of the Space Marine ones will go. So that's what I'm thinking as the Eldar player. So I'll do my Psychic now. So I'm going to put Protection on those Wraith Guard there. Seven, five, six, seven. Nope, so that fails to go off and I can't re-roll it because of the twist. Right, okay. So that's pretty much it for Eldar turn. Oh, I, I didn't do morale for those guys, sorry, because they were leadership nine and they only lost two, so they couldn't fail. Uh, so that's Eldar turn, two, uh, turn three, so turn four now. I'm just going to roll off for which objective goes. Number four. Uh, that's none. I'll keep. I'll roll it again. Six. Ah. So number six is this one. So that shoots off. <laughs>
Right, so I still got these guys to shoot because they can see them. So it's just bolt guns and a rock launcher. I'll shoot the rock launcher first. Uh, doing crack. Crack? Is that is it crack? Uh, my brain. Frack. That sounds about right. Yeah, so it hits on a three. Strength eight. That fails to wound. Uh, then I've got eight bolter shots. Hitting on threes. Go away, go away, go away. Wounding on fives and sixes. Uh, two wounds. Uh, there's no AP to these. And it's plus one. So I think it's like a two up. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, I think I think I think they're fine. Because they have a three up safe standard. Righty ho. So that's all my shooting. Uh magic and all that. So let's do some charge. Let's do a charge, I should say. That doesn't make sense. Right okay. So it's nine inches. Let's see if we can do it. There's no overwatch. It's a four so far and a two. I'm gonna CP that, so I'll be down to three CP. Five. Oh, it sucks. One away. Can you believe it? So they fail the charge. But Space Marines do score two more points. I'm trying to think. Yeah, so Space Marines score two more points because they hold. Uh, where is it? They hold that one because there's two guys at the bottom but there and they hold that one I'll carry on because it could be a draw. Okay guys, so we're back now for Eldar turn 4 Okay guys, Eldar turn 4 again CP, so I'm on 2 CP Right What I've done, I moved there 5 inches What my plan is, is to do a charge into the Marines, but I'm going to charge them this way so then, hopefully, because there's two at the bottom there, I can fight them, kill them in combat. Or at least have more on the objective. Or make them run or whatever. So I'll stay there. Then the Space Marines, I guess, can just shoot me off, I suppose. But Yeah, so that's that's my plan for the Aldar for turn four. Uh, I'm out of range of shooting. I left them where they are. I'm going to cast protection again, just because I can. Uh, but I can't though because there's minus two though, so that fails to go off. Uh, then I got no shooting, so I'm just going to do a charge with the wraiths into those space marines. I might as well spend. Uh, oh, sorry, I forgot to keep track of my CP. I think it was on three, wasn't I? Uh, so I'll be down to two. I'm going to spend it to Overwatch. So rocket hits. Damn. Uh, strength eight wounds. Uh, gets an invon. Eight bolter shots. Two more. Sixes. Again, Arsenal reroll. New. Uh, I'm not even sure what they need. I'll roll and see what happens. Definitely not a three, so we're going to CP that. <laughs> a six. I don't think that's it. No, six is just shy because I can't, I can't even get to the building. Yeah, so that's it. All right, so they score a point though. So I believe at the moment it's 8-8 eight, eight to the... Ah, uh, was a draw so far. Uh, because the Space Marine gained a point last turn to catch up with the Eldar. Right, so I think this is what matters the most. So I'm going to roll now. I don't have to take morale for anyone. Uh, I'm going to roll to see which objective disappears. So I got two, five, and one left. Six has already gone. One. So this objective here disappears. So one goes. So it's technically turn five now. I don't think either side can wipe each other out. Yeah, because I've got a character over there. I still got those space marines. I can hold them up here with those guys and those guys. So, yeah. I don't think anyone can wipe each other out, guys. And each guy then in turn five, or each um, Eldar and space marines, will both score a point. So, it will be just a draw. So, it will be 9-9 at the end of the match. So, I'm not going to bother playing it through, guys. 
and uh, yeah, I'll just do some thoughts on the game. <laughs> Okay, so welcome to the afterthoughts of the game. I thought it was pretty cool, a little fun little game there. Combat between the Space Marines and the Elder. It's been ages since I've played them. Um, it's been ages since I've played my Brothers of Atonement and the Elder. Uh, I have got a, um, what is it, a Wraith Lord. I still I haven't painted up though, but I think I will. Because it is fun playing Eldar, you know, just because they're good with their magic's good, or their psychic powers are good, and uh, the Wraiths are just fun to use. Uh, so it was a draw in the end. Both the Space Queens and the Eldar were lock found what they were looking for, whether it be ammo or whatever, uh, just random supplies. Obviously, the list for the Eldar was quite short ranged. So, but because there were so many buildings and stuff like that, so they had places to hide, even because where the objectives were as well. Um, I could have won with the Eldar if I didn't charge with. Actually, did it matter? Yeah, it did. When I charged with the Wraith Blades. Uh, from I think it was objective marker three by the front of the ruin. If I stayed there and didn't do the charge, I would have scored another point. So it would have been 10, 9 to Eldar. So that would probably be the only thing I would have changed. The reason I did it, I was thinking to get up in the Space Marines' face because they were pretty good at combat and stuff like that. So yeah, but I should have stayed back. Space Marine-wise, I think I played them all right because I was just holding objectives. Uh, it was unfortunate that as the, in like in the second turn, I think it was, or the first turn, uh, third turn, sorry, the objective disappeared. I think it was turn two. Because you're not supposed to roll on turn one to remove an objective, it's turn two. Uh, so I removed that one close to them and then they had to reposition and go after the guardians. But then the wraiths came in. Uh, yeah, so I think I played them pretty right. I, I wouldn't have changed much what I did because of the objective moving and stuff like that. Obviously, if like a different objective moved, then I would have put my uh, Vanguard vets in a different position, uh, depending on where the objectives were. But yeah, I did enjoy both lists. Uh, I've added a few new buildings for TD Combat. I've painted them up as well, so they look cool, go well with my other stuff. So that's just my thoughts on the game, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. So if you enjoyed, please leave a like. And uh, if you've got anything to say, uh, Leave a comment, I suppose, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.